Hello, sir. I am Anareg from India. I have been following your YouTube channel regularly. A big fan of your informative videos. Currently, I own a Nikon D5100. I'm planning to upgrade it. I've chosen the Nikon D7200. Is it still a great camera in 2018? And what are the budget lenses that I can buy? Also, please suggest some Nikon AF lenses, brackets, manual. Thank you very much in advance. Well, thank you for your question. First of all, I'm not, you, you said brackets manual there, but you said suggest some Nikon AF lenses. Nikon AF lenses are autofocus lenses, so I'm just not sure if we're, if we're not clear on the nomenclature here or if you're looking for um, pre-AF lenses. Um, in which case, the, one of the best lenses I would suggest if you're looking for a manual lens, I love the Nikon 50mm F1.2 AIS. And you can get that used or new for a very reasonable price for an F1.2. So it's a wonderful lens. It has some wonderful characteristics. You can take photos with that that you just can't get on anything else because it's that fast. It has that much ability, additional ability for shallow depth of field. And just has its own character. That is, most people really like the character of that lens. It's very unique. Um, when you're shooting wide open at f1.2, it gives you that dreamy, beautiful bouquet. I, I just love that lens. The build quality is insane, too. It's it's awesome. So I would I would look at that. Um, you know, there's some older, the 24 2.8 AI or AIS is a decent lens. Um, some of the older 50s. Uh, most of the older Nikon primes are great. And you can actually find some really good bargain zooms out there, too, like the old uh, 35 to 70. Um, but... Uh, budget lenses, uh, I guess let's go back to your first question. The D7200, is it still a great camera in 2018? Yeah, it is. It's still beating most cameras, APS-C cameras being introduced right at the moment. Uh, as far as sensor performance, it's probably just about the best 24 megapixel performing camera on the market still. Uh, so it's a great camera for 2018. If you're doing a lot of video, it doesn't have the best video uh, features. You know, the 7500s come out since and it's, you know, 4K and better moving screen and whatnot. Um, but for a for photographic camera, and as far as it's still a great camera, yeah. Uh, I might lean towards a 7500 myself if I was looking to do some a lot of video with photography. But the 7200 is still an amazing camera, especially the prices you can get it at right now. Budget lenses for it. Depends what you're looking to shoot. You know, the 18 to 105 kit zoom is very decent. The 18 to 140 kit zoom is pretty decent. Um, both of them are good. Um, the Sigma 17 to 50 f2.8 OS is a wonderful lens for that. It's probably my favorite uh, event and portrait lens for DX, uh, for either Canon or Nikon. Uh, I like it better than both of the Canon and Nikon versions. It's a better price, better value, and I think it outperforms both of them. So that's a great option. Uh, the 50 F1.8G, great option if you want to go even smaller, lighter, and cheaper. The older 50 F1.8D still gives you autofocus, but it's a little less expensive and smaller and lighter. So those are some good lens options, and um, I think you'll find it's a decent upgrade from the 5100.